السلام علیکم آئی ایم آئزہ آری فرام یونیورسٹی آف لاہور اسلام آباد کیمپس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ود یو گائز ٹریکوما سو لیٹ سی یو ورس ان دس لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود دا میننگ آف ٹریکوما ٹریکوما از اے گریک ورڈ مینس راف اٹ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا ڈرائی کلائمیٹ پور ہائجینک کنڈیشنس اینڈ ان ایڈوکیٹ سینیٹیشن اٹ از اے ٹائپ فور ہائپر سینسیٹیوٹی ری ایکشن Chronic keratoconjunctivitis primarily affecting superficial layers of cornea and conjunctiva simultaneously. It is a leading cause of the infected blindness. More than 150 million people have been affected, so it means it is a global problem. 59 countries are involved, especially poor countries like Pakistan, India and other countries. Because these countries are overpopulated or overcrowded. Coming towards its etiology, the causative agent of trachoma is Chlamydia trachomitis, which is a gram-negative bacteria. It is an inobligate parasite, it means it only active inside the host cell. It has a characteristic that it may occur as a virus sometimes. The sears are A, B, B, A and C. These sears are responsible to cause blinding trachoma or hyperendemic trachoma, whereas D and K are responsible to cause inclusion trachoma. The predisposing factors or preventable measures are A. Gender, race. Whereas on the other side, there are climate, environmental factors and socio-economic status also plays an important role. It is more likely to occur in infancy or in childhood as in females than males. As I said before that the climatic conditions and environmental factors plays an important role in leading the trachoma so have a look on these factors in sources and mode of infection we have six t's and five f's as in this picture you can see the conjunctival changes in trachoma conjunctival follicles are formed papillas are formed and hyperplasia forms due to which there will be a red and velvety appearances Conjunctival follicles become large and appears like a boiled saga grains. The penis formation occur due to the infiltration of cornea. There are herb follicles on limbus. At secretitial stage, herb follicles heal and they form the herb pits. In trachoma, we can also see the corneal and lid changes. We can also see the slight swelling on upper eyelid. There will be an inward turning of the lashes as in case of trichiasis and the additional row of lashes can also occur. As in case of diastresis, entropion, which is the inward turning of the lid margin, we can also see the scarring and the slight doses. The corneal changes occur, superficial keratitis and corneal ulcer. The clinical features of the trachoma includes the incubation period of 5 to 12 days. It, it can be subacute, but on massive outbreak, it can be acute. The symptoms of trachoma include watering, foreign body sensation, redness, mucopurulent discharge, photophobia, blurring, and mild pain. The last three symptoms will only appear when the cornea is involved. Let's discuss the signs of the trachoma from which we can diagnose the situation easily. Upper tarsal conjunctiva appears red, velvety, and congested trachomatous follicles which are up to 5 mm in size. Scarring of conjunctiva and arts line. Arts line is basically a thick band of scar tissue in conjunctiva near the mid margin. Limbal follicle on bulbar conjunctiva. Her pits, pitted scars on limbus can also be seen. Let's discuss the who classification. There are several stages of trachoma. Trachomatous follicular, it is a stage of active disease. The next stage is trachomatous intense. In this stage, we, have, we can see the papillas and this is a severe disease and it needs urgent checkup. Trachomatous scarring. In this stage, the infection is inactive. The next stage is trachomatous trichiasis. In this stage, at least one lash is touching the globe and the other stage is opacity. We can easily diagnose the disease if we can see the two of the following features. The management and treatment of the trachoma includes the treatment of the active disease and secula or the prevention of the disease. The treatment of the trachoma includes oral, topical and regimes. Oral is erythromycin and topical are best for use and because they have no side effects. Regimes are 1% tetracycline, erythromycin and ointment. 
We can also use other antibiotics for secondary bacterial infections. Thank you for listening to me. If you find this video informative, then kindly like and share.